hi love welcome back in today's class we are making a size medium to large men's top we are going to be working with length measurement 26 and chest measurement of 42 in this video i'm going to be doing a lot of talking because i lost most of my footages so if you're a beginner an absolute beginner this might not be for you okay so the length is the the number of rows you're going to chain for the beginning your your foundation chain that's basically the length so you're going to make a 26 inches long chain to start with your work and the chest is what goes wrong the measurement that goes wrong both the front and the back panel that is 42 so that's the meaning of your length and your chest measurement you are going to further divide your chest measurement by two and you get 21 for my own 21 inches and that would be the back panel that if you are going to start working with your back panel you are going to make a long chain of 26 inches or how many inches you want to work with that remains constant for your length and the back panel you are going to work 21 inches long you're going to be building your chains which i'll show you as we proceed and for the front panel you are going to divide the back panel by two and you're going to get 10.5 when you divide the back panel by two so now you're going to make a long chain again your 26 inch chain which is constant and you are going to work 10.5 you're going to work 10.5 inches for the first part and 10.5 for the second part because the front panel is going to be in two so this is just the definition of what we are about to do and again if you are an absolute beginner this might confuse you because i lost some footages but if you go through with the explanation i'm hoping and i'm sure you'll be able to do without further ado let's get right into class and yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel my love please do let's get right into class I'm going to be using this acrylic yarn is 80 gram and I'm going to be using eight balls for this tutorial in coffee and mustard also I'll be using 4.00 millimeter hook tape measure scissors and your stitch markers as I said earlier to begin with you are going to measure your 26 inches so you take your use your tape measure and i'm going to be working 26 inches and you can feel free to work the number of inches you want to for the length but always take into consideration the explanation i did earlier so i'm going to start with my mustard you are going to make your slip knot and after your slip knot you are going to start making chains that is long enough equivalent to 26 inches so go ahead and make those chains and i'll get back when i'm done with my 26 inch long chain After you have your chain, you are going to prepare for a double crochet, skip two, and in the third chain, you go in with a double crochet. And that counts as two double crochets. The chain three counts as a double crochet. You are going to skip two and work double crochet in the third, two double crochets in the third stitch. Skip two, work two double crochet 
in the third stitch so you are going to be working two double crochet in every third stitch you are going to be skipping two work two double crochet in every third stitch until the end of the row At the end of the row you are going to chain two so this is the end of the row you are going to chain two turn over your work and you are going to work two double crochets into each space so you're going to work two double crochets into in between the two double crochets so there there will be a tiny space and you are going to work two double crochets until the end of the row and this is basically the pattern until you achieve your 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 if you are starting with the front panel you are going to work this for 10.5 inch long and if you are starting with your back panel you are going to work 21 inch long inches long for this so you are going to work and at the end you are going to chain two turn your work and keep working two double crochets inside the middle and i'll show you quickly what i mean by that so this is it you're going to be working and be changing so the pattern is the same and the first one you can see i made eight and made the coffee four rows and continue so work this this is my first part of the the front panel you are going to keep working this and be building how you want to introduce your coffee until the end of your your front panel and you would have this down in my front panel and this is how i wanted it to be and with the back panel you are going to start making 26 inch chain and you are going to work a 21 inches long this time you're not going to divide it into two you make a 21 inches long um length for your sorry length for your back panel and i'll show you how to join these two together i'm done with my back panel and now we are going to i'm going to show you how to join the arms together so you make a slip knot and pull through and insert the back panel and you are going to make a slip stitch after a slip stitch you are going to prepare for you're going to chain two prepare for in that first loose hole you are going to make a single crochet chain two prepare for a single crochet in the back panel we are working on that loose hose so when we are making double crochet the loose hose we are going to be making a single crochet chain two and a single crochet inside that loose hose make a single crochet chain two go to the back panel i think i've used this method a lot in joining um most of my projects on this channel so if it's a bit confusing or you are not really seeing the color you can just go on the brighter i'll leave a link down below on some videos to reference to but this is basically how i join my two sides together and you are going to join it 
up until the end of the first front panel and I'll show you how to join from the beginning of the next panel. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of your next front panel. So we are going to be attaching that one too to the back panel. So you're going to make your slip knot and attach your yarn. You're going to chain two and make a slip stitch to the slip stitch to the back panel. And also you are going to leave like some few um rows like two rows in between and you are going to work the same as we did for the other side you are going to chain two make single crochet in the back and front so you keep alternating back and front but what remains constant is your chain two so you're going to work this until the end of the row and when you get to the end of the row you're going to chain two or one cut and fasten your yarn and we are done joining both sides together and this is how it looks like now moving on to the arm i'm going to measure 10 inches if you want your arms to be big bigger you are going to um, measure 11 inches and if you want it small you can go down an inch but I'm going to use a 10 inches so you are going to put your stitch marker at those sides you've marked and to begin with we are going to join from down our work to where the stitch marker is make your slip knot attach your yarn and you are going to chain two so we are going to chain one and make a slip stitch here we are going to work something different so prepare for a double crochet just you're going to prepare for a double crochet and just in your first space you're going to make two double crochets inside that space and you're going to attach it in the space of the back panel so just like we were working our rows so the whole the little spaces that you are seeing you are going to make two double crochet attached inside the hole of the back panel or your next space so you're going to work this pattern until you get to the where the stage marker is then we would work our arms and also you are going to repeat this for the other side of your work to attach the other side of your work i'm so sorry i hope you are following and you are not confused up until this point i lost a lot of footages um i don't even want to say i don't even want to bring it all out but i record with my phone and i lost my phone just gave up so i lost a lot of footages and i don't want this year to start like this so i'm still going to make it work trust me so let's go we are going to work up until the stitch marker space you get to the stitch marker space you take off your stitch marker and we are going to be working our armhole so make your last slip stitch and this is what you have chain three and now we are going to go round with two double crochet in each space and when we get to our chain three space that's the beginning of our work we are going to slip stitch on top of the third space so two double crochets in each hole just like we're doing for the body of the top so go around and when you get to where you made your three chains you are going to slip stitch on top and i'll show you how to do that and you keep working this until you have the desired length of your um, length of your arm so 
keep going round and round and round until you have your arm length so this is how we slip stitch now chain three and go around and whatever you are doing for this part you are going to repeat the same exact thing for the other part so if you don't understand anything you can always play back and listen to the explanations and if you don't understand anything feel free to comment down below ask me wherever you got confused and i'll explain everything to you When you get to your desired length of the arm, you are going to chain two or one, cut and fasten your yarn, and we are done with the arm. So when you are done with your arm for both parts, this is what your work should be looking like. At this point, you can decide to leave it like this. You are done. But we are going to be adding color to our top. And this is how what I did for the back panel. I wanted all the coffee to be in length. So I had to redo the back panel to get what I want and at this point this is how the work should be looking like. And also I lost the footage for the arm where I inculcated the coffee but all the same you can just play along and see what you get. So now we are going to make double crochet around this is how the back panel is looking. We are going to make sorry single crochet around. The bottom of our top to seal it and we can go we can make our neck which is the final thing so make your slip knot attach your your yarn and you're going to chain one and inside each space you are going to make single crochet inside their big holes like where you make your two double crochet that's lane exactly so you are going to make a single crochet inside those space until the end of the row this is to seal the top so it will not be very big or all over the place like it will be well fitting because mostly um if you don't seal the end then you have your top <laughs> I don't know how to explain this here yeah, but i know you understand all over the place and we don't want that we want a very nice fit so go ahead and make a single crochet around up until the end of your top and at the end of your row you are going to work single crochet around again so you you have to go around around the front panel and i'm going to go around with single crochet for two more rows two rows and at the end you are going to just cut fasten the yarn 
we are going to be working our collar neck and with that i'm measuring 6.5 inches for both sides and you're going to put your stitch marker with 6.5 inches and to begin with you are going to attach your yarn and chain three the first space you are going to make two double crochets your chain three counts as a double crochet chain one and work two more double crochets in the same space so this is an increase um, row for row one and it's going to be increased if you increase in row one you're not increasing row two so the next space you are going to go with two double crochets normal and you are going to work until the end of the row and at the end you are going to increase again the second row you are going to make three chains and work two double crochets in the open space until the end of the row and with the third you are going to go in the first space with an increase and after the increase you are going to work your normal row to the end so you are going to keep um, alternating between increase row and normal row until you have your desired length for your collar neck and when you get your desired length you cut and fasten the yarn and i'm going to be alternating the coffee and see what works best and that is all for your work you cut fasten all loose ends and this is it we are done my loves or my babies please let me know under the comment section if my explanation was good enough until we meet next week is bye bye